Hello, my name is Brent Sipple. I'm a concert violinist, and I'm going to show you how to set up your Aileen violin bow. Let's take a look at the bow first. This is the tip. Don't tap it on anything because it's quite delicate. Okay, this is the stick, and this is the genuine horsehair. Do not touch the horsehair with your fingers because the oils in your skin will make it slippery. This is the winding or the bow grip, the ebony frog with abalone in it, and this is the screw. Right now it's loose. You can see how the horsehair moves because it's so loose. As I tighten it, it will tighten up and you'll see the bow shape change a little bit. It starts to straighten out. You want it to be not quite straight so that you have a little bit of bounce and it's ready to play. Except that it doesn't have any rosin. Why do I need rosin? I'll show you what it sounds like when you don't have any rosin. sounds like practically nothing. So I'm going to show you how to rosin the bow. So to rosin your bow, take the Aileen rosin that you got in your kit and when it's brand new it's going to be glossy like this. It's not really good for rosining your bow and you got to rough it up a little bit. So you can take a paper clip or a key or whatever is convenient and we're just going to score it. Okay, we're going to, don't worry if a little rosin chips off, this is going to make a little bit of a mess here. Okay. You want to just rough up the surface so that the rosin can uh, conveniently go onto the, onto the bow hairs. Okay, so you're going to hold this in your hand like this and still being careful not to touch the bow hairs to your skin, you're going to run the, the bow across the rosin. Use your thumb to guide the bow so to keep it off your fingers, keep the bow hair off your fingers. You can make some long strokes like this, you're going to make some little strokes like this, and your mileage may vary. It depends how long you need to do this on how much you press on the rosin, how much you scored it, the way it scored. You should do this for three to five minutes and then test. I've been rosining this bow for about five, for over five minutes now. Now you can see the rosin is now have a, has a smoother surface in the middle, um, but it's rough. It's not glossy anymore. Uh, the dust kind of gets on your fingers. That's okay. And, and on the violin bow, I'm getting a lot of dust there. So you want to do a couple just you know long strokes just to kind of wipe that off. And let's see how it sounds now. See if that makes any difference. Now you can tell the bow is rosined and your alien bow is ready for action. Thank you for watching.